the apoplectic time is shown as the movie begins. A thousand years ago, the world was decimated by titans, humanoid creatures that brought humanity to the brink of destruction. In order to protect themselves, humans have survived by building colossal walls, fearing for their lives. Furthermore, amidst the despair, they desperately clung to a glimmer of hope sheltered behind those very walls. These walls provide a safeguard against potential titan assaults. Now, greater than a century had passed. And the populace had begun to forget the titans' existence. Now, the history of the titans exists solely in part of books written stories. Which are used to induce fear in children. Despite their desire, those living behind the wall were unable to traverse it. Being afraid of titans, government had forbidden even to go beside the wall. So the people agreed to live a hard life. The inner world of walls had been divided into three parts. The third part of area included peasants who used to survive working in the farms. The second part was industrial, where the factories had been constructed. The first part of area was integral where the aristocratic people were holding the whole city. And no one was allowed to move from one area to another. A boy named Aaron was brilliant, living in the third part of the area. Being terrified, he could not live like the prisoners behind the walls. Because he has a passion to do something great. It was his dream to explore the outside world. He also shares his dream with his friends. Because he was doubtful on the existence of the Titans. He used to think that people are hidden here as being afraid from the Titans. Aaron's male friend is also brilliant along with him. Peasants were not allowed to conduct any experiment. According to government, it will be wrong if anyone struggles to achieve his success. There is a girl named Mikasa. Aaron and Mikasa used to like each other. She wanted to lead a comfortable life with Aaron. Aaron's friend comes across a stranger when he goes to meet Aaron. But he ignores him. Aaron used to feel fortunate as being the resident of that place. Because he could view the outside world. There was a bomb machine, so this place was his best loved for this cause. Being afraid, people avoided to visit here. Now this time, Aaron intends to go beyond the wall at any rate. And he makes his friends agree for this. There was the security of military officers near the wall, but hiding from the eyes of military, they come nearer to the wall. But they are arrested before they move ahead. Military leader secures them because he had a soft corner for Aaron. And he was aware about the brilliancy of Aaron. And he had understanding of Aaron's passion. They are still conversing as such that earth shakes. Looking above the wall, they are not believing what is before their sight. At the first time, they were facing a great terror. He was Monster Titan, who was bigger and stronger than other Titans. And such monsters are called giants. It is made of fire, and taller than that wall. At that time, he was blowing fire. He begins to crack the wall, using his giant feet. Those people are scared and shocked. There was a worst condition because of the fire attack. Leader commands a military officer to attack with bombs. But that soldier stops him saying that government has banned us to use these explosives. Making a big hole, that giant monster disappears swiftly. There is a calm before a storm. At the first sights, titans begin to come through that wall hole. They were looking like human beings. But they were taller and stronger than human beings. They smirk while looking at the human beings. As they are taking human beings as their meal. That leader is succeeded to attack titans, exploding the bombs. But he did not know, these titans are everlasting and never be killed. And wounded sides of monsters begin to recover naturally. As being in a large number, titans surround them. And human being was looking tiny before them. And they were considering the human beings like the insects, which are crushed under their feet. They are toys for playing. Moreover, human beings were not less than barbecue for them. Because they were eating them while griping. Military men are too afraid as they prefer to commit suicide rather than to be the meal of titans. They take their lives. Titans had spread the disaster throughout the city. People begin to die either being crushed in the commotion or being the victim of titans. And those people find the only place to secure their lives. That was the city big hall. 
people start entering there without caring for others and saving their lives. And Aaron and Mikasa also do the same for their safety. Mikasa catches the glimpses of a baby with his mother. Then she takes pity on them. And she is left outside while saving that baby. Being pulled in the crowd, Aaron leads to the hall. And hall's door is shut. Aaron struggles to open the hall's door. But the people stop him of doing so. Mikasa has caught that baby, and a titan is proceeding to her. Being compelled, Aaron cannot take a single step. Titan engulfs both Mikasa and that baby. Suddenly, a silence prevails there. Somehow, Aaron comes out of that hall forcefully. He notices that titans had surrounded the hall where survivors had hidden themselves. Damaging the ceiling of hall, titans start eating the people. The stream of the people's blood. Flow as they bleed fastly. Being irritated by the circumstances, Ian moves ahead to the city. Two years later, it is shown that the scene takes place in the part of the industrial area. They were safe from the monster giant's attack because of their strong wall. And the survivors of the previous attack also resided here. Because titans were still in the third part of peasants' area. Being overpopulated, that area suffers the shortage of the food. People begin to die because of starvation. Now the rest of the survivors of the third part of the area had the only way to survive. That way was to secure their area from the titans. It means, they can save their area while facing the titans. Military group is prepared to fight the titans. They are given the hard training of two years. Aaron and his friend also get training. Because they wanted to take the revenge of Mikasa. Aaron considered himself reprehensive of Mikasa's death, because he did not save her. They were being led by a commander named Kubel. Commander Kubel plans to go for their operation in the darkness of the night. Their operation included the task to block that big hole of the third part of area with explosion, through which Titans had entered. They will explode the upper side of hole according to the plan. As a result, the broken fragments of wall will fall down. And the hole will be blocked through them. In spite of the explosion, Titan will be unable to come from there because of the strong wall. Being victorious in this operation, they can end those titans. The explosion was their last hope. Either they will lose their lives or take their lives in this operation. The head informs the military force about her newly made weapons. Which may enable them to fly in the air. Because they had got awareness that titans can be killed while targeting their neck. And those titans will never be revived. According to the plan, they leave for their operation in the darkness of the night. But they sense something mysterious on the way before reaching there. And they move to check what is wrong. They start walking when they think everything is all right and it is just the mooing of cows. Then a lady hears the crying sound of a baby. She thinks that baby needs help as being in danger. And she moves forward to check for baby's help. Aaron also follows her. Finding that baby, they come to know that this baby is flesh and blood of titans. That monster baby tries to catch them, but falls down. He begins to weep bitterly, falling down. All titans are awakened, hearing his sound and directing themselves there. And they surround them. Now they were entrapped in great trouble. Because self-obsessed Commander Kubel had fled from. They're with armored vehicles, leaving them in this trouble. Aaron's friend is captured by the titans. But the other military officer rescues him, coming there. Now they were surrounded inescapably by the titans. Suddenly, the brilliant hunter of titans Shikishima comes there. He almost had killed ten to fifteen titans. There was a bold female soldier named Mikasa with Shikishima. Yes. She was alive. Both kill the titans bravely, using their effective weapons. After killing the titans, they move to their planned place hole near the wall. But the shocking moment was this as Mikasa was not showing any affection towards Eren. Because she just wanted to take her revenge after that event. Titan had swallowed Mikasa, but Shikishima taught him to fight with titans after saving. He reveals a secret to prevent from titans and says, attack titans with violation in action and face them. He tells one more thing, that fear is the foe of human beings, which compels them to run not titans, then self-obsessed commander Kubel reaches there. 
He says, fast-killing weapons were not found in our secret place that we were going to use for operation, but they were in the tunnels. I did not want to lose those explosives, I had to go. Because there was a burglar among us who could steal the weapons. They cannot bear the loss of fast-killing weapons. They begin to load the cannons, but titans hear these sounds. Suddenly, those titans swallow two persons. They are all confused, but Lusty Commander was worried about the explosives. And a thief robs their loaded vehicles with the explosives. And a lady smashes the vehicle of explosives from the thief in rage, whose husband had been swallowed by titans. She sets it on fire, rather than to save that explosive. And she crashes the vehicles at the mid-place of titans, in order to take her husband's revenge. But titans remain safe, instead of this great explosion. But their last hope explosive, had also ended now. Kubble also escapes, leaving them in trouble. And they had been entrapped badly among the titans. Aaron was lost, but he remembers the words of fury of Shikishima. He moves ahead, losing the harness of his anger. And he succeeds to kill some of the titans while facing titans. And he loses one of his legs, fighting with titans. A titan catches Aaron's friend. I'll fight to save the life of Aaron's friend, so Titan may not swallow him. Aaron had completely lost the battle. He was disappointed, as he is not helping humanity in any way. But he again gets up, encouraging himself. At the exact time, he saves his friend before Titan makes him its meal. While saving him, he also loses his one of the hands. At last, a Titan swallows him. Aaron feels that he is digesting gradually, after being the part of Titan's stomach. Witnessing it, Mikasa loses her tolerance, and attacks Titan. Unfortunately, Mikasa's vehicle is crashed, because her vehicle's gear was damaged. Now Mikasa was facing death before her. Because the same Titan was coming towards her. Suddenly, Titan feels something wrong in its stomach. And a giant monster comes out, tearing its mouth and an explosion produces a giant monster. And that giant was ending the remaining titans. Observing carefully, everyone knows that it is not anyone else, but Aaron. Then he starts dying like the other titans after weakening. Then a commander who had knowledge of Aaron's brilliancy, says something which is not understandable by anyone. He says, cut his nape. No one understands him, but Mikasa carries it out. And Aaron appears from there. The shocking thing is that his broken leg and hand had reproduced now. All are left shocked, seeing it. Then Shikishima smirks for nothing, as he already had knowledge that it is going to happen. Afterward, a flashback is shown where Aaron's father was scientist. He injects Aaron a serum for a cause, and Commander was also with him. Aaron's mother forbids them to do as such. But they reply that grown-up Aaron will perform a great role to save humanity due to this vaccine. Meanwhile, a few government officers knock at their door. And Aaron's father hides Aaron and that commander in a room. Kubble was also among the government officers. They get the news that Aaron's father is working on a secret experiment. And the peasants were banned to experiment or invent anything. As a punishment, Aaron's parents are arrested by the officers. And the notes of their experiments also burn to fire along with it. This was the cause that Commander used to favor Aaron because of this trait. He was also aware that Aaron had become the strongest one thanks to this serum, which gave hope that he might be the savior of humanity. Waking up, Aaron finds himself captive by Kubble. It was also incredible for Aaron that he had transformed into a giant monster. But he was proud thinking that he has a trait that can perform a great role to save the humanity against Titans. But Kubble has a threat from Aaron, so he captivates him. Because it was his thought that human beings have no need to conduct experiments or invent anything. Rather, human beings should live behind the walls and fear cowardly. Kubble ends the commander while shooting, when he speaks out about Aaron's favor. But that commander reveals a secret to Aaron before his death. That Kubble is the murderer of your parents. Hearing it, Aaron and his companions turn themselves against Kubble. Then a strong giant appears there while jumping off. At first, he catches Aaron after coming there. All try to stop it, but he was removing all on his way. It also tries to end Aaron's friend, but is stopped by Mikasa. 
It was looking as if it was perhaps understanding the communication of Mikasa. And he leaves, taking Eren with him. And Kubel loses his life in this battle. Eren was not there so they were not understanding what should they do. Then Eren's friend remembers that they still have an explosive. They can fulfill their operation, using it. They all move to the third part of area to retrieve the bomb. Eren wakes up in a big and awkward room. There was also Shikishima with the other things. Here Shikishima opens many secrets. These titans are made of human beings. And these are not made by another else, but Eren's father. They had made titans as the military weapons, but his experiment is flawed. It left the harmful effect as that virus continued to spread throughout humanity quickly. And human beings continued to transform into titans speedily. And they spread the devastation throughout the world. This chain will continue and never stop. And the most miserable thing is that titans can survive without quenching their appetite. It means they are immortal. And only Aaron's father had the remedy to kill them, which ended at the death of him. There may be the solution to kill titans if they are not banned by the government. And Aaron's father selected his son, injecting serum so he may help humanity and fight against titans. And Eren is immortal. He can transform into the giant at any time. Shikishima also reveals that he is the same who is against the government. And his companions had tried to steal the explosives. Eren gets ready to help him after being inspired by Shikishima. Eren's companions go to the bomb place, securing themselves from titans. Loading the bomb on the vehicle, they move towards the wall but they are stopped on the way by Shikishima. His plan included that he will destroy the second part of the area with this bomb. And the people had to fight against Titans reluctantly due to the falling down of the wall, and they will root out the government after defeating Titans successfully. Because they are facing these circumstances, because of the government. But Aaron and his companions were disagreeing with him. Because innocent people could be killed in this battle. So the quarrel is held between Shikishima and Eren. Killing himself, Shikishima transforms into a giant. Here it is also known that Shikishima had also the quality to transform into Titan. He was the same giant who had gone, taking Eren. They have to take their own life in order to turn into Titan. Being transformed into Titan, their real body part Nape handles the activities of Titan. But these giants have a shorter lifespan than titans, because of being injected with a serum. The rest of the titans had come into being because of the spread virus, so they don't die. There is violent fight between Shikishima and Eren. Shikishima has a heavy hand over Eren. Later, Eren defeats Shikishima with his fighting ability. According to the plan, Eren is able to explode the bomb at the upper part of the wall. And all are shocked, knowing that Kubel was alive. He says, let Aaron come in my custody. Because he did not want anyone to help humanity. But human beings should be hidden behind the walls as being frightened. A female soldier kills Kubel, in fury. Then it is also known here that a giant monster was seen at the very start of the movie. He was not other but Kubel. Transforming into the giant, Kubel tries his best to stop their operation. Then Shikishima agrees to help him. Putting his life at risk, he thrusts the bomb into the mouth of Kabul Giant Titan. Giant Titan is dead due to the explosion. And that big hole is also blocked, because of the trash of that explosion. Their operation had been succeeded so they feel excitement. And Mikasa and Eren's dream is fulfilled while watching the sea and the flying bird. And this movie ends with the fulfillment of their dream.